the Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahusha, Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahusha, Bashan, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, We Are to Worship Yahweh. Lord will, you are edified. Matthew 3 and 17. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. That voice was Yahweh, and he was well pleased in his son Yahweh Shah. Keep this in mind. Matthew 14 and 28. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh. And Peter witnessed Yahweh walking on water. So that built Peter's confidence up, okay? Verse 30, but when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, referring to Yahweh and Peter, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship, referring to the disciples, came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the Son of the Most High. An example of the disciples who later became apostles worship Yahweh Shai. All right? Hebrews 1 and 5, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, referring to Yahweh, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Verse 6, and again, when he bring in the first begotten into the world, First begotten, referring to Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah was the only spirit Yahweh created. He said, and let the angels of the Most High worship him. Can't get around that. Revelation 5 and 8. Let's start at verse 7. Now, this is after Yahweh was crucified. Of course, he returned into the spirit world. Revelation 1 and 7. And he came and took the book, the he, referring to Yahweh Shah, the book, the Holy Scriptures. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him, referring to Yahweh, that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb. Let's read that again. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts, referring to the four archangels, and the four and twenty elders fell, the twenty-four elders, down before the lamb, meaning what? So the four archangels and the 24 elders worship Yahweh Shai after he took the book from Yahweh. And the book is referring to the Holy Scriptures. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and 20 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vows full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. 
and they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by blood out of every kindred Israelite and tongue Israelites and people and nation, all Israelites. Okay, beginning with the elect. Last precept. John 14 and verse 6. Yahweh said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. All right? So we are to worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Lord, we are your edified, shall one.